ever look at the stars and wonder how many planets are orbiting those distant suns? And of those planets, which ones may have beings gazing back at us? Well, today we're starting to get a handle on just how many Earth-sized worlds might be out there. And of those worlds, which ones may be habitable for life? Three, two, engine start, one, Zero and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. What we now know about extrasolar planets, or exoplanets as they're often called, we owe in large part to NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. When a planet passes in front of its home star, it blocks some of the star's light. The Kepler Space Telescope looked for distant worlds by measuring this dip in the star's glow. Kepler focused its gaze on the area of sky marked by this grid of squares near the constellation Cygnus. For four years, the telescope's detectors focused on this area and studied over 150,000 stars. These green dots show where possible planets have been discovered so far. Now, this includes giant planets that are nothing like Earth, like Jupiter or Saturn, for example. So let's remove everything that's twice the size of Earth or more. Now, the remaining planets are the right size, but not all of them would make a good home. For life as we know it to exist, you need liquid water. We can't determine a planet's composition from the data yet, but we can see whether a planet seems to orbit in the habitable zone around its home star. This is our best estimate for the number of potentially life-bearing worlds among the planets spotted by Kepler. But we're missing much of the picture. Kepler could only spot planets that pass between their parent stars and the telescope's viewpoint. Even a slight tilt in a planet's orbit would make it nearly invisible. And the farther out a planet orbits, the more likely it will be missed. After counting for all the missing worlds, Kepler's field of view becomes dense with planets that may be like Earth. Now, consider this. Kepler observed less than a third of a percent of the sky. And it was only able to look at stars within 3,000 light years of us. So, how many Earths might really be out there? Well, if we were able to see all of them, the sky would be filled with green dots. From this perspective, the chances that we're alone in the universe seem very unlikely. The Kepler Space Telescope completed its mission in 2013, but new spacecraft will continue that search in 2017 and 18. These probes will look for worlds across the entire sky and examine their atmospheres for the chemical signatures of life. We are living in a golden age of space exploration, and I can't wait to see what new discoveries await us. For all we know, we may be just a few short years away from having verifiable proof of life on a distant planet. You want to say something? Yeah. Okay, sit. Make sure I'm recording. Okay, go ahead. Space is awesome. And just, I heard my daddy say, but there's even more stars than the grains of sand. There's like millions of grains of sand, but there's more stars. So yeah, <laughs> goodbye everyone. And, that's a wrap.